to celebrate the end of the week. Friday night basketball on 2K Sports. This is Brian Anderson with Clark Kellogg and Grant Hill. Allie LaForce with us on the sidelines. We'll see the Houston Rockets taking on the San Antonio Spurs. So the Rockets win the tip. Now the starting group for the Houston Rockets. Pass to Battier. Here's Alston. Five on the clock. Tries it from the top of the key. McGrady, shot is off. Good shot, gone bad. Gotta finish there. Oh, and can't hit. I can't lie, I love to see that kind of physical play under the rim. He boxes out and claims the rebound. And it's Austin missing. Clearly the defense could have been better there, guys, but he also needs to convert that. Here's Parker. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Yeah, and you First never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, that's the message they were the sending with that foul. Nothing easy in soccer. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. He's perfect from the line this time. Here's Alston. Pass to McGrady. Here's Battier. And looks like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. Well, the league has put an emphasis to crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows or they'll call it. Now here's Parker. And now just over a minute played here in the first. And so it looks like it'll be Houston's ball. Houston ball. Here's Alston. Pass to Battier. Here's McGrady. Six on the shot clock. Here's Alston. Yao. Tip back in for two. As usual, he's right there to save the play. Nice timing on the tip in. Pass to Ori. Parker with it. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three second call. Rockets ball. Here's Yao. First quarter, just about two minutes in. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Come on, man, how do you even guard Yao Ming? No wonder he draws so many fouls. This dude is skilled and humongous. Yao Ming taking two shots. one falls for him and Ming boy I tell you this guy is so big he's a dominant force who also has a touch that belies his size this guy is a real force at both ends
that one goes in. Two from the line that time. He's making the most of every trip to the line, providing for his team. Up top, Parker. The rebound by Alston. Well, you know, stopping him is never easy to do, but the defense was strong there. Inside, Scola. And he jams it after taking the nice feed on the run. Terrific accuracy on that pass. That's how you lead your teammate. Pass to Ori. Here's Bowen. Now here's Parker. Just five to shoot. Here's Ori. Offensive rebound. Tries again. They shoot again. Duncan, no good. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Solid job positioning and really good intensity and focus from Duncan that time to get to that second shot opportunity. Fastest is going in the first two minutes. We've got 155 left in the first quarter. <laughs> so close on the finish. I mean, it could have been a three-point opportunity. Second person. Bravo medal to the medal attack in basketball. I like that. Shooting for Houston. Yao Ming. Two shots. First free throw is good. So he makes both from the line. Well, he's certainly been on target with the free throws. Such an advantage when you're big can knock him down from the line. And the Spurs call time here. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them clicking. Yeah, and you know, that's going to be the focus of this timeout. They need to come up with a spark to get the offense going. Nice work defensively. Meeting him up top and forcing the miss. Here's Battier. That basket is good. Shane Off Battier. the assist from Jackson. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. And that was the mobile one drive. Low resistance to the finish line. Yeah, taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the defense and made them pay. Pass to Bowen from deep. The shot off that time. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's the shot he typically makes. Seems like this offense is being executed the way it was designed. Yeah, I'm sure Coach couldn't be happier with the results. Probably should have scored there. He usually does. Boom! He jams it straight down. Oh, and Oakley is such a solid pass. He drops it down whenever he can for a ready shooter. Pass to Jackson. Here's Battier. 34 seconds left to play in the first quarter. It's deflected. And he gets it back. 
Jackson gets the Bobby bucket. Jackson. Good things come to those who hustle. He creates the second chance opportunity. San Antonio trailing here. Pass to Duncan. Here's Ginobili. Yeah, with a rebound. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. And so it's Houston leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. Their defensive efforts have paid off, effectively shutting down the opposing offense. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter of action so far. All right, guys, for the Rockets, what jumps out at you stat-wise? Give it up for their D. They're battling, communicating, and coming up with key stops. They've got them rattled. It's only the first quarter, and already they've made enough big plays on defense to last really an entire game. Here's Ginobili. But no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Pass to Bowen. From downtown. On target from range. What a pass by the fearless Manu Ginobili. Great teamwork. Houston in the lead. And for Houston, here's Alston. Here's Yao. Can't hit that one. San Antonio goes the other way with it. And for the Spurs. Here's Bowen. And he dunks it down. Oh, and plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. Here's Yao. Bearing his second of three attempts. Yao Ming's a handful when he's this deep. I mean, virtually impossible to guard. You can't let him in this kind of positioning. Easier said than done, though. Here's Ori. Pass to Duncan. And there's a whistle. Rockets. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Yeah, Basketball man. IQ of Tim Duncan. Personal Top foul. flight. He's so First smart in knowing foul. how to draw fouls. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Rockets. Everything working for them inside so far, guys. Tons of high-quality shots that they're knocking down inside. Take a break. And I've also liked how they've attacked the Push opposition up. off of turnovers. I mean, just making them pay for every mistake out there. That free throw, no good. You know, you got to really appreciate and respect how steadfast Duncan is. I mean, he's always under control and composed, keeps his team focused on the task at hand, and that's extremely valuable. Good on the second one. And the Rockets with possession here. Pass to McGrady. And here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. Clock at six. Here's Scola. Fires at the elbow. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. That's a heads up play right there. Reads the floor. Distributes accordingly. Parker inside. Duncan. And there's the slam! Dunk to finish it off. Boy, that's a powerful throwdown by Duncan. We saw an opening there and took full advantage of it. Time on call. Houston. And something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of the timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. Fans, give it up one more time for your Spurs Youth Dance Team. Here's Scola. 
Here's Austin. He drains out one after two Austin. misses. Now one for three. Getting enough two. shots in close to Luis play inside Cole. out. And that replay showed how sensational that drive truly was. And I love the way he played downhill on that drive. Love the attacking mentality in a close game. Here's Parker. Pass to Ginobili. And they're on the Spurs with another bucket. He's a potent mix of effort and ability. Hard to shut down a player of his caliber. Here's Battier. Here in quarter two, we played a little over two and a half minutes now. Here's Alston. Five to shoot. Here's McGrady. The rebound by the Spurs. To the paint. Here's Horry. That one's good. This game is all even. Watching Horry get going inside. Pretty good stuff. Not just an outside sniper, but a more than capable post player as well. There's a minute 47 left in the second. McGrady shot is off. San Antonio with the ball. They've only given up six here in this quarter. Well, I like watching Ginobili rise up on the top. But when he does, pretty impressive. Pass to McGrady. Here's Alston. And almost four minutes gone in the second quarter of play. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Rockets will retain possession. Both teams will make substitutions. Substitution on the court. It's time to take a glance again at that superb block. Such great timing. Defensive awareness, too. When you have to face a defender that can reject you like this, it certainly can change your approach. It's picked off. Now the Spurs moving it up the floor. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Second Boy, the energy Ginobili plays with is Second actually unbelievable. Foul. He's a whirling dervish out there. He's always doing Manu something Ginobili. borderline spectacular. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes a first. So good. So he hits both free throws. The Rockets trail. Pass to Battier. Jackson outside. Here's Alston. The Rockets with another miss. Hard to turn down a look that good. Still, long twos are losing favor. And misses like that are the reason why. That kind of defense is not going to cut it with Duncan. He's too good and just shrugs off the contact. Timeout called. Houston. Rockets. Things just aren't going their way. He clearly wants to talk it over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. It's time to fire off some T-shirts. The loudest section. Right, the Rockets making the switch here. Substitution for the Rockets. Yao Ming. 44 seconds left in the half. Pass to Battier. Right wing. Clock at four. Now here's Jackson. Over Parker. Jackson can't get it to go. Yeah, they just can't seem to end the drought no matter where they shoot it from. And, you know, they've got to be careful because this is when the team concept breaks down and guys start playing hero ball. Pass to Duncan. 
And we're going to have a jump ball. Hit ball violation. That's a jump ball. San Antonio with the ball. Here's Parker. Oh, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for it. And so the San Antonio Spurs with a six-point lead at the close of the quarter. And they push the tempo in this one, getting out in transition and making the defense pay. And don't go far. We'll be right back. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. It's San Antonio out on top at halftime. They have a six-point lead. Kenny, how'd you feel about it? They obviously came in wanting to push the ice. And so far, so good. They're looking to get easy transition baskets because the other team is not getting back on defense. Shaq, how'd you think the Rockets were playing? They've got to be more assertive on the glass. Getting out hustle is a great goal to lose the game. Second half, they can generate extra possessions. It'll go a long way toward getting the W. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. This second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. San Antonio leading. So the Houston Five right now. From the arc. Gets the three to fall. Parker's got five points. Or he's such a selfless player. This guy just makes winning play after winning play. Pass to Alston. Here's McGrady. To the wing on the left. The rebound by Duncan. A chance here to extend the lead to double digits. And that would really give them a comfortable cushion. Parker. A chance to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. You know, defensively, you just can't afford to give him that much room. They're fortunate that he missed that one. Good setup. Let him to the rack perfectly for the layup. And it's an 11-point San Antonio lead. That was another look at our Mobile One drive of the game just a moment ago. Making an impact. I love the aggression. Playing on that front foot and looking to expand their lead. Pass to Scola. Here's McGrady. Here's Alston. And they recover it. Here's Battier. Oh, persistence Jane pays Battier. off as they finally hit a shot. Wow, he really fires up his team with his ability to extend possessions. Here's Ori. The offensive rebound. The layup off target. Here's McGrady. Knocks it down from Jason distance. McGrady. That's a textbook ball example three. of how to move the ball. Boy, you gotta love that action. Back to Parker. Pass to Bowen. Parker with it. Shot clock at six. Soft touch off the glass. Parker's got seven now in this quarter. It's nice to see they're not settling for three-pointers. These guys are putting in the work inside. Here's Scola. Here's McGrady. The putback. Oh, he hangs in there and yeah, cashes man. in on the second chance points. The effort, the position, the timing, all there. And add instincts to that. He can sense where the rebound's going to go. And that sixth sense, guys, might be better than just about anybody else's. 
showing great intensity around the rim is part of why he's a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just against his constitution. Oh, man, the defender really went after him. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. Shooting for Houston. Tracy McGrady at the line for two. McGrady, an elite talent. I mean, a remarkable athlete. Tremendous bounce and speed and strength. And he continues to get better. And so he hits both. Minute 58 left to play in the third quarter of basketball. Here's Barry. Pass to Duncan. Goes up and lays it in. Nice and easy. He's got nine. You know, this is simply Tim Duncan doing his thing. Being Tim Duncan. Playing with great heart and going to work inside. Here's McGrady. One's good for two. In a tight game, they wanted to make sure of that possession. Pass to Ori. And here's Parker. To the inside. Fades and shoots. And there's another one for the Spurs. Because he's such a reliable jump shooter, I think that's one of the things that makes Ori such a terrific complimentary player. Here's Battier. There's 49 seconds left in the third quarter. There's Jackson with the three. That one doesn't drop. San Antonio goes the other way with it. End of quarter management here. They can go two for one. Make the math work in your favor. An elite score demonstrating once again how fast he can fill it up. The Rockets trail. Pass to Jackson. Here's Hayes. 23 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Here's McGrady. Down to five on the shot clock. Pure three-point range. Good heads-up basketball. Season opening and capitalizes. Here's Parker. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Parker's got 11 points here in the second half. That's simply a gimme for a player of his caliber. I mean, the defense cannot allow that. And the foul is Seven called. Total he total missed total. it, so he's got a couple of free Not throws coming his way. Second personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for the Rockets. Paul Landry taking two shots. Shooting two. Can't get the first one. He hits the second from the line. So it's San Antonio with a six-point lead at the close of the quarter. Just pounding the painted area. That's helped him build an advantage. We'll be back in a moment. And it's time to bring up the State Farm Assist to the game. 
You talk about painting a magnificent picture with that dime. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. And they'd love to see every possession in this way. True team basketball. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Pass to Brooks. Doesn't go for him. Excellent D there from Parker. San Antonio leading. And for the Rockets. And I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Here's Yao. Here's Battier. To the middle. And it's Brooks missing. Here's Bowen. Yao with a rebound. Here's Alston. They get the rebound. Here's Scola. Oh, a beautiful reverse layup. It's winning time, and that's a winning play. On offense, here is San Antonio. Four-point game. Pass to Bowen. Here's Ginobili. Offensive rebound. Oh, he muscles it in through the contact. They call the foul, and he's on his way to the line. Or he's showing a lot of determination there, putting the shot through while also drawing the foul. All right, well, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Spurs. Well, they continue to play pedal to the metal, leaking out and capitalizing with ease when they get opportunities in the open court. You also can't ignore the good job they've done rebounding on the offensive end tonight. That hustle has been well rewarded with second chance points. And Ori is such an incredibly valuable role player. I mean, he's a big man who has range and can also defend both the four and five spots. Pass to Alston. Here's McGrady. Here's Yao. And the bucket is good. Yao Ming. There are big men. And then there's Yao Ming. Wow. 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 Parker outside. Here's Ginobili. Again, the miss by the Spurs. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And so it's Houston with it. So it's San Antonio now. And the shot goes down. Ginobili is so good at getting into the paint. Love watching how he does that. He's unpredictable, creative, but he finds a way to get the job done. Look, Grady, good. Tracy McGrady. Hey, draw him up a solid play, get him an open look, and he delivers. Yeah, I put that one on the defense. I mean, they can't leave him open at this stage. Pass to Ginobili. Launches it. Unable to get that one. And it's Houston the other way. Good. Five for nine shooting so far. Hey, when this team needs a basket, they look at McGrady. And he rarely disappoints. San Antonio calls timeout. Spurs fans, get loud for your Spurs basketball. Now let's take a look at the New Balance Player of the Game. Well, I tell you what, DeRozan has been incredible with his attacking at the offensive end, and it's been all game long. Never hesitating to attack a gap in the defense, and then he found a lot of points by slicing his way right to the cup. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Over the last break, I got a chance to hear what Greg Popovich was telling his team. He told them, quote, play as if it's 0-0. We want that type of energy and focus. We might be winning, but this game is not over yet. It's a clear message, guys. Okay, good stuff. Thank you, Ali. Here's Muhammad. Yeah, with a rebound. Showing great intensity around the rim. That's part of why he's a respected defender. 
And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just against his constitution. Out the way. Over to the wing. Parker right side. Here's Duncan. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. And the Spurs lead by five. Not rattled at all by the contact. Duncan maintains his composure and knocks the shot down. You've got to love his mental toughness. Fades away. That one falls. Crazy and this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Well, you may not make a highlight reel, but all Tim Duncan does is score points. And he makes your team a ton better. Here's McGrady. Oh, the teardrop Crazy falls in. McGrady. Boy, that was a sweet-looking teardrop. There's very little defense for that. Nice to Duncan. Well, we know Tim Duncan is a big-time player, and he knows exactly how to come through in the clutch. Here's McGrady. Another shot. Scola. And he sinks it. What a beautiful shot. Brings him within three. At this stage of the game, the offensive rebounding and putback is massive. It feels like a four-point swing. Yeah, you really do because those extra possessions when they lead to points, that's huge. I mean, he did a nice job there. Never gave up on the play. And you know my motto, persistence pays dividends. Great to see guys who go back down under pressure. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game. Yes. Six seconds separating the shot and game clock. And I understand we're seeing some potent offense, but you have to put up more of a fight defensively. Come on now, look. Sit back and enjoy the fireworks. Nothing better than good offense. Timeout call. Houston. They're losing by three. 24 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Let's make We are the 24 seconds left in the game. Here's McGrady. It falls! Crazy McGrady. And that one brings him within one. McGrady getting all graceful with that shot. Yes. How about the floater? The perfect Great amount awesome. of touch. Great person in the And he's trying to keep five. this game alive. Not a bad foul right there. Sure, it's not over. The clock is as much a problem for them as the story is right now, so they've got to try to manage it. Awesome. And he commits the intentional Great foul. Great person in the foul. Michael Ryan to your Spurs. Tony Parker. Two shots. First free throw is good. And that'll put him up two. We've seen this movie before. Parker delivering. The bigger the moment, the more you want him taking these shots. Second one is good. Getting both at the line. And it's a three-point game. What composure at the line. Forcing your opponent to look for the three-pointer now. And the Rockets call time here. They're trailing by three. There's 14 seconds left in the fourth. All right, guys, what's your take? If they leave the off open, take it. And it may be safer to get a quick two and then foul. Either way, they got to score the ball. There's 14 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. McGrady, shot is off. And an intentional Rockets foul there stop. stops the clock. Luis Scola, first personal foul. 14 foul. At the line for your Spurs, Tony Parker taking two shots. He gets the first, and that gives him a four-point cushion. And so both free throws good, and it's a five-point game. Taking care of business at the line, leaving this one out of reach. Pass to Battier. Here's Austin. No good there. 
And so yeah. it's San Antonio with the W. Boy, they didn't make it easy on their fans or themselves. But at the end of the day, everyone on their side is happy. Yeah, happy indeed. The momentum shifted away from them a few times, especially early on. But give 